Hi everyone, I'm Beth with Flying by the Seed of My Plants and today I am working on, uh, I got these from Arbico Organics and this is called Nematac Beneficial Nematodes. Um, this one here I got a variety pack. Uh, there's a cabbage mac maggot, uh, humpbacked flies, onion maggots, pillworm, raspberry crown borer, root maggots, uh, shoreline flies, thrips, and more. And then this one is, this one takes care of six out larval pests and is most effective against sedentary pet pests such as queen ants, asparagus be beetles, bagworms, banana moss, banana weevils, berry root weevils, pill bugs, borers, carrot weevils, shafer, shafers, fleas, grubs, and more. And my problem was in my raised beds, I found grubs like in one square foot of the area. And then here is the other one. Uh, this one's effective against uh, mobile pests such as fleas, cutworm, fly larvae, termites, and more. Whoops, there. So, I went ahead and I mixed the powder. It comes in a powder form. It comes in with an ice pack in the mail. And I got it like three days ago. And I wasn't ready to spray it yet, so... I put it in the refrigerator so it's a cloudy day because they suggest that you do it either uh, prior to uh, sunset or you know before the sun comes up but it's 45 degrees today it is a cloudy day and I'm gonna take advantage of that weather and um, go ahead and spray so I have a hose and sprayer that I'm going to use why can't I figure this out <laughs> And here is the product. And you want to keep it uh, mixed up pretty good. So as I'm walking around spraying, I will be um, shaking this. So I'll pour this off to the side. And that was about half whoop, for now. And um, I already have this hooked up to my hose. You know what? I think I gotta do it afterwards. Okay. Okay, make sure that's on tight. And I'm gonna use the shower. figure that one out when I start spraying. Take the center of the hose, put it back on again. And the thing about the grubs is they will um, eat off of your roots and then eventually kill the plant. So where I seen it, I had my sage um, plant in a, a daisy plant and I also planted my onions, so I want to make sure that the grubs are not going to eat everything I'm planting. So, okay, I have that all hooked up. And I'm going to start spraying here in a second. Okay, so I am just spraying.
Okay, I went ahead and sprayed in all my beds, and I did buy the blackberries also. And they say to spray on wet soil. And what it is is in here is actually little worms, microscopic. And so, and they'll take care of the grubs. I did all those beds. I did the in-ground um, garden. Of course, I didn't do anything here because there's really not a lot in here, but here is the four beds uh, that I worked on the other day. Today is Thursday, April 6th. So I didn't completely fill them with soil because tomorrow um, my brother's gonna help me get the cattle panel because he has a truck and the cattle panel is 16 foot long. So I can't put that in my car. <laughs> so, and these guys, I still haven't decided what I'm doing with them. So I wanted to share that with you as far as, but uh, you know, getting the beneficial uh, nematodes. I did all the beds along the fence there and on the ground over here. And then I also did along the ground here. And these beds, I definitely have to clean these out. That's going to happen next week. Right now it's about 45 degrees. But look at the beautiful uh, tulips right there. Absolutely love those. And then I have more that were coming up. They just haven't bloomed yet. So, and this does not hurt pets. Um, or children, people. Um, but they do feed... What they do, I guess, is they go into the grub uh, or larvae and um, I don't know if they shoot like a poison in them, but anyhow, it kills them. So if you are having a grub problem, um, it's a good idea to take care of them before they really get bad because otherwise you're gonna be watering a plant, everything's gonna be wonderful, you're not gonna notice anything and one day you're gonna come out and it's gonna be dead. And because the grubs are eating off the, the uh, roots, sucking the juice out. So, uh, okay, just wanted to share that. And real quick, I am, let me take you in the greenhouse real quick. Yesterday it was, I don't know, 79 degrees. Today, I think it's going up to 50, but here's what's going on in the greenhouse. All the pepper plants. I up-potted those the other day. And I did find my uh, kale. Still have to get that in the ground. I have celery down there, but it's getting there. It smells so good in here. So, and I'm going to take you in and show you my tomato plants. And they're not ready to be separated and not potted yet. I'm going to wait until they start getting their true leaves. And Abby's in the dirt again. Okay, so back inside. Um, so I went ahead and sprayed all the beds, um, the in-ground bed. And, of course, when I get done, then you want to spray and clean out that... Um, hose sprayer that I connected and uh, to get it ready for the next juice. Plus, um, when you're done, you wanna wash your hands um, because, you know, it does have the microscopic worms in there and I don't wanna bring them in my house <laughs> or I have them on my fingers. So anyhow, I wanted to show you really quick the uh, tomato plants. And these, I think I sowed the seeds um, I want to say March 31st, maybe March 30th. I didn't put the date on here. Um, but they are looking wonderful. And I did a short video uh, the other day showing the that they were germinating. And apparently, I guess in the video, the soil did look green. And somebody commented that it looked like I was drowning my tomatoes. Uh, but actually, I think that was just a reflection of where they were. Um under the fluorescent light, but they're all fine. There is no green mold um, or anything like that on the soil. 
And I want to show you a mistake that I did make uh, sowing all of these tomatoes. Um, in this section here, let's see, yep, question mark, and question mark. So there's probably about 20 or 25 tomatoes. I have no clue what they are. I kept thinking maybe I try to do a process of elimination, looking at my notes, um, looking at the seed packets that I used, and I can't figure it out. The only thing I don't have in here is the pink bumblebee, which I thought I planted. Um, but in my journal, it says I only had one packet. And I have one packet, and there's still seeds in there, so I'm, I'm just not sure if it is pink bumblebee. So anyhow, these I will probably just um, give them away if anybody wants to just have fun seeing what they are. Um, and of course I'll put them in my garden and that's when I'll find out <laughs> when they start producing the tomatoes. But since I'm not sure if I did do the pink bumblebee, uh, I will be sowing those seeds. There's a pink bumblebee. Cherry tomato. They're really pretty. So anyhow, I just wanted to show you, uh, the tomatoes, how they're doing. I will be up potting these, um, when they all start getting their true leaves, they're just starting on some of them. So probably within the next week, I will be um, separating these and up potting them. And I went ahead and I ordered four inch pots. I know I have my solo cups. I was going to use them, uh, but I was watching. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Whispering Willow, um, and she has done several plant sales. So she did do a video on uh, things to do if you're having a plant sale. And one of them was uh, not to use the solo cups. Uh, I guess people don't look at the solo cup as being professional. So I went ahead and ordered four inch black pots. So that's what I'll be up potting them to. Anything that I'm keeping for myself or friends, it'll probably just go into... Um, the solo cups. So it was just another expense that I really didn't want to do, but since I am selling to the public and I will be going to Lafayette, um, that's one place I called and it's $15 uh, to rent a spot. And it's from 8 a.m. until either one or two in the afternoon. So I will be doing that. And when I up pot these, separate these little seedling, tomato seedlings, I'll bring you in and show you how I'm doing that. So, all right, guys, have a wonderful day, and uh, I will talk to you on the next one. All right, bye.